I was asked recently on Twitter if I could make a video about controllers in FreeBSD for gameplay, and I thought that was a really good idea. I'm going to test three controllers. One is a Windows or Xbox compatible one, and two are PS4 ones. Uh, one is a generic PS4 controller, and the other is an official PS4 controller. I haven't tested any of them smaller gamepad type ones, because um, I haven't got any. Uh, and these are the ones that I that more or less get used on a regular basis uh, by members of the family, so I know that they work. The first one is an Easy SMX. It's a Windows Android PS3 compatible controller. At the time of purchase, it was £25.99 or $35 US dollars 43 cents. Having a look at USB config, we'll show you that it is detected by FreeBSD as an HGC game uh, for Windows controller. I've tried various uh, things before to try and get this one working uh, with very little success and trying a Webcam D to see if I could get it going as a, as a final try and it detected it on JS0 input and if I use uh, NES emulator and using Super Mario Bros. 2 we go to configuration and if you try and define the uh, joystick device you'll find that on selecting the various different options, it doesn't stick. It should really wait until some input is received from the device, and it's really not doing it. So even if I alternate between keyboard and joystick, it's, um, it's not taking it. And this is one that I've tried uh, quite a while, actually, to get going. For this Windows-compatible one, I'm afraid it's no go, which is a shame. But anyway, let's uh, move on. The second one is a Garmin wireless controller, £27.99. Uh, or $38.15, and this one is compatible with PS4 and PS3. So firing up the same emulator and game again, if we go down to configuration again, and go to input, and we'll change it to joystick. Now I know, let's try this again. So if I press to define, it should stick, which it is doing, until I press the button on the controller, which is good. Press up. So I'm pressing the, the D-pad at the moment, and it's taking the inputs. Press select, and start. Okay, well that's not good so far. I'm gonna press the shoulder buttons on the trigger. So if we start the game, and here is a uh, very shaky cam, show you the on-screen and off-screen uh, version of this. Let's have a look. I can hold it in one hand and hold the camera as well. It's terrible. I haven't got a tripod. So if we press the button to select, there you go. Just that start. And the game is going. And there we are. So yes, if I just move the D-pad, press the jump button. There we are. And it works all right, it works very nice. On this occasion, you just need to define the uh, joystick buttons, but other than that, it's, uh, it's, very, it's very easy to use. There's no lag, and everything works as it should. Yeah, it's very nice. If I press select, or is it option, I can't remember. If I can, uh, I really can't see it, but there we go, let's try again. Very small button, very small. Uh, pressing it, and it's pausing and unpausing the game as it should. And a relatively cheap controller for the PS4, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's a win. Right, we're now going to go on to the official DualShock, which is the, uh, the official PS4 controller made by Sony. And it's £44.99, so it's a little bit more expensive than the unofficial one, or $51.33. Again, if we just go into the game, just uh, go there, configuration, input. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try on the keyboard this time. I'm not gonna try to find it, see if it picks it up. Right, just using the keyboard layout, pressing the controller, and whoa, actually works without defining anything, which is uh, even better. So the PS4 controller, I didn't need to define any of the buttons. Very nice, look, there's a the jump button going. And the D-pad. Excellent. I wish I could play the game light, but never mind. 
And there we are, full screen. So the PS4, the official PS4 controller, is even better than the unofficial one, which was better than the Windows one. So there you have. I haven't, like I said, I haven't tried any other type of controller, whether or not you get the the uh, NES or the the SNES um, lookalike controllers. I don't know whether they would work. They'd probably be the same as the, the first one. But yes, so there you go. So the PS4 controllers are more likely, more than likely, guaranteed to work with FreeBSD out of the box, which is pretty cool. And considering that you can get a whole range of unofficial cheaper controllers now, and not necessarily the, the more expensive official ones, even though they are they have a better quality of build, the unofficial ones will do the job just as well uh, for a fraction of the price. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.